Donna Pilch from Morrisville, North Carolina. I was held hostage in the Wake County Court for two years without probable cause, convicted of a misdemeanor DWI illegally, without my knowledge, presence, consent, right to be heard, and then forced to represent myself in a jury trial in the Wake County Superior Court. It started with a false police report. On Sunday, July 27, 2008, at 11.14 p.m., a police officer pulled me over as I was making a left turn into my apartment complex. He accused me of driving while impaired, but didn't offer me a field sobriety test. He arrested me and brought me to headquarters, police headquarters. The, I later learned he wrote a false police report. He wrote that as I was turning into my driveway, I ran over the median. The median contained shrubs and trees, and if I had run over it, there would have been an accident and damage to my vehicle and harm to myself, but there was none. I returned an attorney and was assigned my first court date in November 2008 in Wake County, North Carolina District Court. The case was continued by the DA without probable cause, and I made my first court appearance in January 2009. I soon learned that it doesn't matter whether or not you have an attorney because the Wake Court doesn't provide probable cause hearings as required by North Carolina General Statute 15A-1606. And the North Carolina Administrative Office of the Courts never even created a court document to allow for probable cause hearings or to allow a defendant to plead not guilty in the state's district court. On October 27, 2009, I was convicted of a misdemeanor DWI charge in the Wake County District Court by Judge Brewer without my knowledge, presence, consent, right to be heard, and with fake court documents and unlawful court procedure. My case was then unlawfully transferred and appealed to the Superior Court via another fake court document without my knowledge. Then I was forced to rep represent myself in a jury trial. Wake, Wake County Court Lauren Freeman orders false arrests with excessive bail and mails people fake jury trial notifications. In February 2010, I missed an unlawful court date, which I didn't know about, because the court, court doesn't notify defendants or their attorneys about court dates. I was then unlawfully uh, ordered arrested with excessive bail of $1,500 by Wake Court Clerk Lauren Freeman. My case had somehow been disposed of, but a court clerk changed it back to pending and then set a new court date, violating the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act and causing a horrific obstruction of justice. I was ordered to represent myself in a jury trial on May 3, 2010. I did, and there was a mistrial early on. Then Wake Court Clerk Lauren Freeman mailed me another fake unlawful jury trial document demanding I come back for a second jury trial. The document wasn't even signed, notarized, or put on letterhead. It was not and is not an ad a document approved by the North Carolina Administrative Office of the Courts. On August 3rd, 2010, I appeared in court again, as Lauren Freeman demanded. I refused to have a second jury trial. I was then ordered to pay for someone else's DWI with costs in excess of what is prescribed by law. On August 24th, 2010, Judge Donald Stevens, the senior Superior Court judge in charge of the Wake County Court, denied my motion for relief. He wrote that my motion had no basis in law, but the law clearly states that probable cause hearings are supposed to proceed jury trials. The, the systemat systemic corruption in the Wake County Court devastates thousands of people personally, professionally, and financially, and urgent intervention is needed by the federal government to create laws to end judicial immunity and sovereign and state sovereign immunity when all of the state leaders fail to honor the law. Finally, I went to the U.S. District Court and Judge Malcolm Howard dismissed evidence of all of the crimes and constitutional violations happening inside the Wake County Court.